How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Rolder in the Smogon Overused tier. Stick around till the end for a bonus battle and with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Rolder. So they're going to lead off with Tay, the Cloud Watcher, the Iron Treads. As we lead off with Room with our air balloon. So it's not a bad matchup because we do have the air balloon. We can high horsepower this thing straight away. I led with Reverune because I expected the Pelipper lead. There we go. We're going to float in the air with our air balloon. I was worried for a second then. I was like, did we change the set? And I didn't realize. Let's go for a high horsepower because they can't earthquake us. They do go for a stealth rocks, which is fine. We're going to get some nice damage on the iron treads real quick with the high horsepower like so. There we go. And we miss, as you would expect, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So let's go for another high horsepower. This time they go for a rapid spin to break our air balloon, which makes a lot of sense. They can easily go for a um, earthquake if they want to. Pops the air balloon like so. We go for high horsepower. We hit this time, and it's a clean two at KO. So we could have got rid of the iron tread straight away if we'd have, um, you know. They go for, oh, they've got a jack button. Interesting. So we wouldn't have KO'd them anyway. But in comes Finn. And if you're watching this far, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. Otherwise, Reverend Room's going to drive up to your house, knock on your door, steal your Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I don't know I said that. Okay, Basque Legion is in. It's the it's the male one, so it's going to be more of a physical attacker. So let's switch into Aloma Mola, who can definitely take a Poltergeist or a um a, 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 especially a Wave Crash. And um, they do go for a Wave Crash, which is definitely going to bounce right off of Mola Mola. That did more damage than I thought it would do. They are definitely choice banded, right? Hundred percent choice banded from that damage. So Aloma Mola is here. We can go for a flip turn if we really want to. They probably switch to Hydra Apple if anything. Um, they probably don't want to get scolded, that's for sure. So I'm going to flip turn real quick. They go for another wave crash, which is still going to sting quite a bit, but we do get the recoil, which is nice. As we're able to now go for a flip turn. And there we go. Flip turn comes through. And we're going to go out into something else to take care of this Basque Legion real quick. And I'm leaning towards the Chandelure. Really leaning towards the Chandelure. Um, the Shadow Ball kind of hits everything really hard on our team. So I am going to go into the Chandelure. We've got all Parahacks over here. Now, we've got to be careful because they could Terra. And if they're going to Terra, they're going to Terra Water. That's for sure. Stones do dig into us as well, which is unfortunate. Um, they probably expect a Shadow Ball or an Energy Ball. So they might not Terra Water. They might just switch out. Sack off the Iron Treads, maybe. Or the Belly Bolt, perhaps. Let's go for a Shadow Ball and find out. So they withdraw Finn, the Basque Legion. And they're going to go into Chloe. Who's Chloe? Who's Chloe? The Belly Bolt. Okay, so the Belly Bolt comes in. We go for a Shadow Ball and the Belly Bolt. They're definitely going to sponge this hit because Belly Bolt has really good special defense. As it does, in fact, sponge the hit. Activates its Electromorphism. So now we're going to switch out. So what are we going to? They're going to probably go for a Parabolic Charge. Or they might expect the Great Tusk can go for a Muddy Water. So I'm going to go into Room. I think Room is a good solid choice here. We can go straight for a High Horsepower. Or a Gunk Shot. Or something along those lines. So... We're going to Reverie Room. Pointed Stones do dig in, which is unfortunate. They go for a Volt Switch. That's going to sting. As it actually straight up KOs Reverie Room. Belly Bolt with a Charge is extremely powerful. Oh my lord. So Reverie Room doesn't get to do anything in this game, which is fine because it did stuff last game. You know? But um, that's, a, that's a real shame. In comes Tay the Cloud Watcher, which is going to be the, the Iron Treads. So Iron Treads is obviously a threat, but we do have the Chandelure, which can now Fire Blast. Um, if we want to. Or we can go into the Aloma Mola. I think I'll go Aloma Mola. Just so that we can get off a... Um, flip turn again to get a bit more Regenerator back. That's basically what I want to do. So we'll go for another flip turn. They probably Volt Switch like they have done. Which shouldn't KO us. We do live, barely. I thought we'd take that a little bit better. But, you know, it is what it is. Because we, we have got Special Defense Investment. Um, I've actually got no HP investment in this Aloma Mola. It's all just physical defense and special defense because it's already got really high HP anyway. But anyway, Hydra Apple comes in as we flip turn real quick. Hopefully they're not Rocky Helmet. That'd be annoying. As uh, they're not. So that's good. So Aloma Mola is going to switch out. It's going to get that regenerator boost, which is always nice. And I'm debating on what to go into. I'm thinking either Salamence or Iron Valiant. I think Salamence is the best option. So I am going to go into Salamence. I think Salamence is the best option. So we'll go into Calamity. And what they'll probably do here is because we've got Stealth Frog. So we need to get rid of the Stealth Frog somehow. They're either going to Terra or they're either going to switch out into the Iron Treads. I personally think they're going to Terra into either a Terra Steel or they go for the Iron Tread switch. 
Um, I can't really do anything else, so I'm going to have to just go for a Dragon Claw and hope for the best. They do not terror. They do stay in. Dragon Claw comes through, does a lot of damage to the Hydrapple. We obviously knew it wasn't going to KO because Hydrapple is quite bulky. Um, but they do whip out the Citrus Berry, which is interesting, as now they can go for a Fickle Beam. And they go all out as well. <laughs> Salamence just can't catch a break with this team. A Salamence does go down. Calamity does go down, which is unfortunate. So that Hydrapple is now a threat. That's for sure. So what can we do here? It's weakened. We could go Shandy and go for a Fire Blast or a Shadow Ball. I am leaning towards the Chandelure. So I'm going to go into Chandelure real quick. We do get Stealth Rock Chip, which is unfortunate. We need to get rid of the Stealth Rock somehow. I can't go into Great Tusk though, because it'll just go down. It'll just go straight down. So what do we do here? I say they go for a Belly Bolt Switch again, so we go for a Fire Blast, personally. So we go for a Fire Blast, they do stay in, as Fire Blast takes out the Hydrapple, which is amazing. So we finally got a KO on one of the Pokemon, and it's a Hydrapple, which is obviously a big threat to the team, so that makes a lot of sense to get rid of that early on. Now in comes Bella. Who's Bella? The Barrascuda. So is this thing going to have Aqua Jet? That's the real question. I think we can safely go into a Loma Mola and then go for a Flip Turn or a Scold. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go a Loma Mola real quick. There we go. And again, we should be able to take any hit from this thing, no problem. Um, they do go for a Flip Turn, which is fine. It's going to bounce right off us. Oh, that's Choice Banded, all right. Oh, no, it was a crit. Never mind. That's not Choice Banded. The Life Orb. So that's good to know. A Loma Mola is on Death's Door. That's for sure. I'm hoping they go into uh, Iron Treads here. They go into Finn, which is the um, Basket Legion, which is unfortunate. So that is a shame. We get some leftovers recovery at least. And what we can do here is we can go for Protect. Just to, uh, No, let's go for a Scold. Let's go for a Scold because we're going to get taken out anyway. So they go for a Flip Turn, which takes us out. They probably expected us to switch out there. But no, Aloma Mola is just go down. It's, it's fine. We get a free switch in with whatever they go into now, which is like the main thing. You know? We need to get rid of these stealth rocks. That is for sure, though. Frank comes in. Who's Frank? Is that the Pelipper? It is the Pelipper. So the Pelipper is here. Gets that drizzle up, which is nice. Um, what do we do? Do we go into Iron Valiant finally and go for the Moonblast? Or do we go into the Great Tusk? I'm leaning towards the Great Tusk because I know it should be faster than the Pelipper. And then we can rapid spin, but we will go down. Because those stealth rocks are really hurting Chandelure. But then again, Chandelure's on Death's Door anyway. So it's like, I'm a bothered. But then at the same time, with stealth rocks, you know, you, I, it's really hard to decide what to do here. I am leaning towards the Chandelure. So I'm going to go the Chandelure switch. I am going to go the Chandelure switch. Because at this point, the rain team, the Barrascute is going to come through and it's going to destroy us. It's definitely going to destroy us. There's nothing we can do really. Um, except from keep Great Tusk around. So I am going to go for a Shadow Ball here. Um, because basically we have Terra Water on the Great Tusk, I believe. So we should be able to take any hit from this thing. So they go for a Surf. It's going to sting. It's definitely going to take out Chandelure. But we got some nice damage off on it with the Shadow Ball, which is what's important. So now we've got a couple of options. We can Terra Water with the Great Tusk or we can Terra Steel with the Iron Valiant. I think Terra Water is going to be more beneficial to us with the Great Tusk. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. As there we go, Great Tusk comes in. Stones are going to dig in. Um, we definitely tear a water and we definitely knock off here. We definitely tear a water and we definitely knock off. So there we go, tear a water. And hopefully they don't go for a hurricane. And I'm hoping they go for a surf. But they probably go for a hurricane, which is still going to sting Great Tusk quite a bit. But we should outspeed the Pelipper, so it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world at all. As there we go, knock off comes through. Frank doesn't go down, unfortunately, but the damn rock is knocked off, which is good. They do go for the hurricane, which is going to sting quite a bit, but it doesn't take us out. And it doesn't confuse us, which is nice. Now we're going to go for another knockoff just to get the KO on Frank. There we go. And Pelipper goes down. So we could still make a bit of a comeback here because the Basque Legion and the Barrascuda can't KO us, I don't think. Bella comes in. Who's Bella again? The Barrascuda. Bella the Barrascuda comes in. We are going to go straight for an EQ because there's no reason not to. As they Terra, what type are they going to Terra into? Are they going to Terra Water just so they can showcase the pure power of Barrascuda? They are. They are going to Terra Water. I bet you any money that Liquidation from this thing KOs us. Because it doesn't get Wave Crash. Liquidation comes through. Boosted by Terra in the rain by Life Orb. We lived. We're living. 
We live in. And uh, we get the Rocky Helmet chip and the Life Orb, which means Great Tusk's Earthquake is going to KO the Barra Scooter from there, which is absolutely fantastic. As down it goes. So, with Barra Scooter out of the way, we've got one less Pokemon to deal with in the Swift Swim, and that's Bas Basque Legion. But I think Basque Legion, yeah, Tate the Cloud Watch comes in. Who's Tate the Cloud Watcher? Iron Tread. So, Iron Tread comes in. Squinting. I don't know why it's squinting. Maybe because of the rain? I don't know. Anyway. Should we go for an Earthquake? I think we go for an Earthquake. They probably go for a Volt Switch. They do go for a Volt Switch. That's going to KO us, no doubt. As it does. As there we go. So, Tuscany's going to go down. But it's not in vain because it took out the Marascuda. It took out the Pelipper of all things. Thanks to Terra Water. Now we just need Iron Valiant to come through. Because they've already Terra Terrored. And I'm hoping they go Belly Bolt here. Finn comes in. Is that going to be the Basque Legion? It isn't it. So Basque Legion comes through. Let's go Valiant. Like so. Valiant comes through. Point of Stones do dig in. But we are going to pop our Booster Energy. Now, the real question is, does Booster Energy Iron Valiant outspeed Swift Swim Basque Legion? I don't think it does unless they're adamant. So I go for a knockoff here all the time. They go for an Aqua Jet, which is going to do a lot of damage. We go for a knockoff, though, and that is going to KO the Basque Legion. So we're actually in a very interesting position here. Iron Valiant could pull this back because it KOs the Iron Treads, that's for sure. It definitely KOs the Iron Treads. I don't think they wanted to risk it without speed in there, but they're going to go into Chloe, which is the Belly Bolt. We have to go for a close combat here. It's the only move we can go for, so let's go for it. Close combat comes through. Doesn't get the KO on the Belly Bolt. Activates their Electromorphosis, right? Or is it any special attacks? No, it does, yeah. They go for a Thunder. And that's going to take out Valiant. And that's going to be the game. So, GG Roller. That was a pretty fun one. Iron Valiant nearly pulled back then. But that Belly Bolt is just too thick. Definitely too thick. And that's going to be the game. So, GG. That was a really fun one. And we have ourselves a bonus battle. Today, we're going against Jax from the Discord server in the Smogon Overused tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the team to see on screen right now. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck. Have fun, Jax. So, they're going to lead off with Molotov. The Rotom Wash as we lead off with our Chandelure. So, not a bad matchup. Not the best matchup in the world. I will say, so we could probably hit them with an energy ball right now. I'm pretty confident we can take a hydro pump from a uh, scarfed Rotom. If they are scarfed, they should go down to the energy ball. We could tear straight away. I'm, I don't think I will. I think I will just go straight for the energy ball, though. There we go. Energy ball comes through. They're not scarfed themselves. Should do a lot of damage. It nearly takes them out as they go for that pump. And that's going to take us out, no doubt. Yep, I thought so. Because they are, in fact, specs, I believe. Or are they going to pop the leftovers right now? They are leftovers, so that's just still KO'd. I should have terrored. I lost Chandelure straight away. What, an, <laughs> what a way to lose a Chandelure. But the Rotom is now weakened, which is good to know. We can go into our Salamence right now. And we can go straight for an Iron Head to KO this thing. Expect oh, no, they probably go into... Yeah, all right. So let's just see what we can do here. So I think I will go Salamence. Calamity. And Salamence is going to get a KO here. It's not really. They're going to switch out probably into the Scizor or the uh, Lander Spherian. Um, they might not because we could be special by the way we've got Intimidate. So I'm going to go straight for a Dragon Claw just for damage. They do stay in and they do go down. So Rotom goes down, which is great. Down it goes. We weakened it severely with Chandelier though. So Salamence could get the KO, which is always nice. We need to get rid of the Landorus though. The Landorus is the one thing stopping, um, well, the Landorus and the Skeledurge and the Scizor. Um, <laughs> We need to get rid of the entire team and the Great Tusk. We need to get rid of the entire team just to get Salamence to work. So I don't think we need Salamence particularly this game. So what I'm going to do is here is I'm going to go Aloma Mola because it can take any hit from this Landorus it wants to go for. Even if the choice banded Earthquake, we can still take it like a champ. So let's go into Aloma Mola like so. They go for the Stealth Rock, which is to be expected. Good play. Um, they do have the Skeledurge as a spin blocker, so we can probably take that to advantage and go for an Earthquake. I am going to go straight for a Scold here because Burn is not there. They go for a Taunt, stop from wishing and stuff. Makes sense. But we're going to go for a Scold, which will do a lot of damage to the uh, Landorus, but also could get the Burn. Nice bit of damage. Nice bit of Burn. There we go. The Burn comes through. Scold always burns. I swear. I swear Scold always burns. But anyway. Anyway. Shall we go for another Scold? Or should we go for a Flip Turn? 
I'm leaning towards another skull because if they switch out like they have done, we can potentially get a skull burn on something else. And at this point, they basically have to go weirdly into Skeledurge, I think. In comes the Scizor to take a skull. Are they going to get burn on the Scizor as well? Uh, no burn on the Scizor, but that's fine. Um, so that's that's great that the Scizor comes in, though, because we can still wall them. Aloma Molo basically walls everything on the team except from the Rotom, which has gone down. And the Valiant, if it's got Thunderbolt. They go for a dual wing beat, though, just to get damage off, which is fair enough. It's not going to do much damage to Aloma Molo. It does a lot of damage, actually, for a non-stabbed base 40 power move. Um, Skull comes through, though, and that should burn this turn. Doesn't burn. Never mind. Remember when I said Skull always burns? It always burns when you least expect it to. When you want it to burn, it doesn't. Anyway, we shake off the taunt. Not that it matters. Let's just go for another skull. I don't see any reason not to. They go for the dual wing beat. That's fine. As that's going to do a lot of damage. It will take us out the next turn, so we do have to switch out if we can't get the burn here. But skull comes through on the scissor. And we don't get the burn. I think they're immune to burn. They're immune to burn, which is really weird. <laughs> Um, let's switch the Loma Molar out though. Let's go into... They got the Stealth Rocks up, so let's go into Great Tusk. No, Great Tusk isn't going to appreciate the uh, dual wing beat though. That's the thing. We could go Rev Room. I think I'll go Rev Room. I think Rev Room does pretty well here. So we will go Rev Room. Like so. Noom comes in. We get some Stealth Rock Chip. And then they're going to go for a dual wing beat once again, no doubt. As there it is. They are probably banded by how much damage it's doing to the Aloma Mola. I would say they're banded. So they do pop a rare balloon with the, air, uh, the dual wing beat, but it's fine. Um, because now we get to go for a high horsepower if we want to. And I think I will go for a high horsepower, even if they're probably going to switch out. I'm going to go for the high horsepower just in case they don't switch out. They do switch out, and they're going to go into probably Landorus, if I had to guess. Or Skeledurge. They do go Landorus, though. Landorus is a good switch. It's going to get the Intimidate off. Um, it can do a lot of damage to us. So let's go for a high horsepower and fail. There we go. Failed miserably. Failed miserably. But they are burned, so we don't have to worry too much. Um, so what I might do here is I might go back to Aloma Mola. Or I might go to Great Tusk. I think I'll go Great Tusk. Great Tusk is a pretty good one. Because we can go for a rapid spin get rid of those stealth rocks. Which would be nice. So we're going to Tuscany. Like so. Point stones do dig in, which is fine. They go for a taunt, which is great and all. So now we basically have to go for an attacking move. I'm leaning towards them going for a Skeledurge switch, so I kind of want to go for an EQ. And if they don't switch Skeledurge, it's not the end of the world. So we go for an EQ. It's not going to work on the Landorus, because obviously they haven't switched out, as they go for a U-turn. So they did switch out, but they're just slower. Fair enough. So they get the Rocky Helmet chip. That's going to make them go back as well. And like I said, they probably go Skeledurge. If I had to guess, or Valiant. I'd say Valiant was more likely. King, the reliable partner, comes in. That's the Iron Valiant. Looking amazing. It gets that booster energy in speed, I'm guessing. Speed was right. Yep, speed is right. So what's our switch in here? I'd say probably Rev of Room again, because they more than likely go for a Moonblast. We do quad resist that. So let's go into Rev of Room like so. If they go for the CC expecting the switch, then that's a good play. But I don't think they will. I think they'll go for a Moonblast. Point Stones do dig in. They do go for a Psychic, which is going to sting. And nearly takes us out. But we go for a Gunk Shot here, just in case. They go for a Shadow Ball. That's definitely going to take us out. So Psychic and Shadow Ball. Interesting set on the Valiant right there. So we could go into our own Valiant and uh, try the Speed Tie. But I'm leaning more towards Aloma Mola here. Or... Great Tusk Terra Water. I'm going to go Aloma Mola because they've got Psychic and Shadow Ball and they no doubt have Fighting Stab and Fairy Stab. So I'm assuming they don't have Thunderbolt. Um, so I'm going to go for a Scold here just to get some damage off. They actually go for the Moonblast, which is going to sting, but it ain't going to KO Aloma Mola. We go for the Scold, a little bit of damage, and we don't get the burn, but the burn doesn't really matter on the Zion Valiant, which is fine. Um, they probably go for another Moonblast here, but we don't have a switch in, really suitable switch in. Um, so we're going to have to just scold real quick. So let's go for a scold. They go for a Moonblast once again. Takes out Aloma Mola. So Aloma Mola did go down, but it did weaken it a little bit, which is always nice. They haven't Terraged yet, which is worrying. I could go in Salamence and Terra Steel Dragon Dance. But that just invites in the uh, the uh, Landorus, doesn't it? I think we will do that anyway. 
Because the Landorus is burned, it can't really touch us. So we'll go into Salamence. We'll get the uh, Intimidate off, which is always nice. And then we'll go straight for a Terra Steel. No, we can't go for a Dragon Dance. We outspeed everything on the team anyway. So we may as well Terra Steel Iron Head. Because if we Dragon Dance, we're still going to get outsped the next turn because of their boost energy. And they'll just Aura Sphere us in the face the next turn. So we have to go for the Terra Steel Iron Head straight away. So there we go. Terra Steel comes through. On the Salamence. And the reason I'm tearing the Salamence into... Oh, they go for the Focus Blast and they miss. They predicted the Terra, but it didn't work because they missed. They Focus missed. And we Iron Head them into Oblivion. So that was a good read by my opponent. But Salamence narrowly dodges the Focus Blast. Or Focus Miss. That's why you run Aura Sphere. <laughs> Landorus comes in, though. Landorus is going to get an Intimidate off, which is always nice for them. Um, but they are burned. So we can just go for a Dragon Claw here. I'm, I'm leaning towards Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw comes through. We should KO the Landorus. It doesn't KO the Landorus. And they are Rocky Helmet, which is good to know. They go for an EQ. That's going to sting. Is it going to KO? It does KO still, even after the burn. So Salamence goes down, but it's not the end of the world. We still have got our Great Tusk and our good old friend, the Iron Valiant. So let's go into Great Tusk for a start. And we'll hit this thing with a knockoff or a rapid spin, one of the two. It doesn't really matter about Stealth Rocks at this point. It really doesn't matter about Stealth Rocks at this point because all we need to do is weaken the Skeletor. So I'm going to go for a knockoff here just in case they do. They go for a taunt though, which is going to definitely ruin my plans of getting Stealth Rocks up if I wanted to do that. But I go for a knockoff anyway, which is going to KO the Landorus. So Landorus is down. We get a crit. A crit didn't matter. <laughs> Probably. Probably not. Anyway, Landorus does go down, which is great. And now, we also knocked off the Rocky Helmet. But did it do Rocky Helmet chip to us? I don't think it did. I mean, it should have done. But anyway, in comes Manny, the Great Tusk. So we have to basically stay in and go for an EQ here. Or I'm leaning towards the Valiant. But it does kind of bait in the Skeledurge. But we outspeed everything on the team anyway with Valiant. So it doesn't matter about ruining the booster energy. So let's go into our Valiant real quick. Because it can take a hit from this uh, no problem. As in comes Paladin. The Iron Valiant. Like so. Pointed Stones do dig in which is unfortunate. We do get the booster energy and speed which is great and all. Let's see if Valiant can do this. So they go for an Ice Spinner. It's going to sting. Not too much though. Not too much. And then we go for a Moonblast. We 100% go for a Moonblast. Take out the Great Tusk. It should take out the Great Tusk. It does take out the Great Tusk, which is amazing. Great Tusk goes down. So now we should be able to handle the Skeledurge with, depending on the set that it is, with the um, Great Tusk. So let's go in to see what they do. They go into Ryuko the Scizor. We're definitely going to go into Great Tusk here. Um, we definitely go into Great Tusk because they probably go for a Bullet Punch. They have to go for a Bullet Punch, right? Pretty much, right? So let's see what they do. They go for the bullet punch, which is not going to two it KO, I don't think. It doesn't, no, that's good. We get the rocky helmet, which is nice. Now we just go straight for an EQ. There's no reason not to go for an EQ at all. They withdraw. The Skeledurge isn't going to like this EQ. That's for sure. So Sebek comes in. The Skeledurge. They want to keep the Scizor around for the Iron Valley, and don't they? So we go for the EQ. That's going to cleanly 2 it KO the Skeledurge right now. Cleanly 2 it KO the Skeledurge. We go for another EQ. They probably Terra, actually. Yeah, never mind. They Terra. What type are they going to Terra into, though? Hopefully nothing that can take us out. Hope, well, they're probably Terra Fairy, right? Yeah, Terra Fairy. So Terra Fairy, Skeledurge. Right. That's fine. We go for an EQ. I think they've won here with Scizor. Now nah, it doesn't take him out. They go for a Terra Blast. That's definitely going to take out poor old Great Tusk. I should have saved my Terra Steel on the. I should have saved my Terra Steel for the Valiant. That would have been clutch if I did that. But either way, it's not the end of the world. Valiant can come in now, like so, and take out the um, the uh, Skeletor, which is nice. So Stone's going to dig in, which is unfortunate. We go for a Moon Blast here just to take them out. There we go. Can Valiant pull this back? Probably not, because they go for a bullet punch with Scizor, right? Can we take it, though? That's the real question. I don't think we can. <laughs> I really don't think we can. In comes Ryo Ryuko, the Scizor. We go for a CC. It's our best option. 
They probably go for a bullet punch. They do go for a bullet punch. Down goes the Iron Valiant, and that's going to be the game. So, G, G, Jax, that was a really fun one. Great bonus battle. I think Iron Valiant did do pretty well this game. I think both teams, Iron Valiants, did pretty well. So, that's always good. Um, this video basically shows why Iron, Iron Valiant is the best future Paradox Pokemon by far. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Let me know if you do use it. I want to hear what your thoughts are on it. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.